Hi, Dr. Patrick Gentempo here, back with you again. We are in the studio again. Even though the whole set has been broken down, we have more to give you. Bonus episode 10. We had so much great content that we just could not leave this out. I have four more interviews in this bonus episode that are extraordinary in their scope. We start out with Dr. Joe Holden, who is the president of Veritas Evangelical Seminary. And I have to tell you, this person has more degrees than I could possibly count. He's brilliant. And when you look at his story and listen to what he has to say about what it meant for him to come to faith and the work that he does now, it's something that's going to really capture your imagination and capture your attention. We also then go over to Jerusalem, and we have an interview with Rose Guinnessar, who is a director at the Tower of David Museum. And that was one of the highlights in the old city for me, because that Tower of David, which has been there for a very long time, you see spectacular views from there of the whole old city, and you get to see sort of how the temple, when it existed, and this tower were connected. So it gives you a better feel for what life was like back then in the old city of Jerusalem. So she really brings that to life, and the scenery is just so spectacular. I wanted you to see that. We could not leave that out. We also then travel to Tennessee with evangelist Perry Stone. So he's the head of Perry Stone Ministries. He's very well known. And there were a lot of big takeaways when I sat down with, with Perry Stone. One of the things I remember that really reverberated was the idea that when you say the name Jesus, it's not just a matter of how you say the name. There's a lot of people even by that name that exist on the planet today. But it's a matter of speaking things with the vibration of faith and how that changes it. So Perry's got a lot of experience in the world of being evangelical. And I have to tell you that he brought up a lot of points I heard nobody else make. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that interview with you. And then finally, we have an interview with Dr. Michael Hassel. And we did that also in Tennessee, but this was at Southern Adventist University. He is a professor of archaeology and Near East studies, and we sat with all these artifacts around us. And why was this so important? Because what Dr. Hassel had presented and what I learned was about archaeology in a way that I never understood how these digs happen, how they you know, excavate a site, how the layers have a lot of meaning. So he takes us through all that and he makes it vivid. So you know, I've, I've certainly had some interest in biblical archeology. span Certainly we've interviewed a lot of biblical archeologists, but Dr. Hassel takes us to a place that we haven't been before yet in Christ Revealed relative to that. So in this bonus episode, we have amazing people with powerful content and we're really excited to bring this to you. So enjoy. Joseph, thanks so much for uh, sitting with us today. Uh, happy to be here in this beautiful part of California to have this conversation. Can you give us a little bio sketch of uh, your background and how you got here? Well, I was originally a professional baseball player and at the end of my baseball career, I moved into biblical studies. I received the Lord at 18, mm -hmm. went to go play in the Mexican Professional Baseball League for a few years, and then the Lord called me into academic work, or at least to go back to finish my undergraduate education, mm -hmm. and that's what I did. I finished a bachelor's in biblical studies, and what I learned in that undergraduate program sparked a thirst in me to continue my studies. And I went on to seminary and went on to earn my doctorate in due time. And the more I learned through these programs, I found this is, this is great stuff. I mean, I'm gonna have to learn more and more and more of this. So the deeper I uh, went into the fields, and before you know it, I'm digging in an archeological dig in the Middle East at a biblical city and the finds were simply fascinating. And that simply came together with my theological knowledge. And how better to you know, be satisfied in life than to bring these two things together in a, with a relationship of Christ. And it was just a fantastic uh, ordeal for me. Yeah. So it, it seems, yeah, like a, a, an unusual uh, path to go from professional sports to uh, you know, a stellar academic <laughs> career and experience. Uh, were, were you uh, academically inclined uh, before you played professional ball? Actually, no, I wasn't. 
Starting in high school, when I would uh, be on my way home, I would try to lose my backpack uh, every once in a while when there was a big homework load sent home. But my backpack kept finding me throughout the years. I eventually got through high school. Uh, but then when I was saved my senior year, everything changed. I looked at my studies in a whole different way. And that's what really sparked my desire to learn more, was that fruitful relationship with Christ. It made these things worth learning. And that's what really changed. Uh, about my freshman and sophomore year in college. Wow. Where's the uh, majority of your time spent now doing what? The majority of my time is right here at Veritas Evangelical Seminary. I'm the president here and have been uh, directing the programs here for 10 years. And we're looking forward to what God's going to do with our students and our programs. You know, I'm, I'm excited with what the Lord has been doing here. You know, our graduates go out into all the world. They're either sharing the gospel, defending the faith, mm -hmm. and conducting ministries of their own. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing that. What is the, so in your view, uh, what is the importance of a, um, an academic and intellectual context for a Christian that, that they really kind of dig into that on a deep level? That's a good question because I think Christianity has done a great job in worshiping the Lord with all of their heart. Mm -hmm. But there also is the head mm -hmm. that has to be considered. The greatest commandment was worship the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your mind, mm -hmm. and with all of your soul and strength and so forth. But sometimes we slack on the mind aspect. You know, to learn about Christ, to learn about God and His nature is one of the most fundamental things and very important because all of our knowledge flows from how we view God. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's the Trinity or the incarnation of Christ, there is so much to learn. And just as in any good marriage, you're going to want to know your spouse right. and get to know them well over time. And the same is true with God. We want to know who He is. It not only builds our spiritual life with Him, but it also helps defend against heresy or error that may come knocking at your door one day. That's it for this particular interview. Thanks for joining me. Really excited to take this ongoing journey with you as we keep bringing more content. If you haven't already, you really should subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of phenomenal content coming down the road into the future that you'll want to know about. Leave a comment down here. I think people would love to hear from you and then you can hear from them too. If you liked it, go ahead and give a like. It only takes half a second and share this with people that you care about. The world needs more light in it right now. So thanks for being with me. Hope to connect with you again soon.